There are limits when you might want to make an object smooth, in the way that subdividing makes everything soft and round, but you don't actually need to sculpt any finer detail into it. For this, there's dynamic subdivision, and it's great because it allows you to control smoothness of an object dynamically. Let's see how it works. Okay, so you can see our model is a fairly low poly right now. If I will turn on my wireframe control shift, and you can see that. It's fairly like you can notice on the screen it's very low poly over here so let me move it around this is the same model that you can find in the light box but what I did over here is that I just have removed all the subdivision from it so it can become low polygon which I can easily demonstrate for this project let me turn off its fill or oh, only line is visible so you can see clearly how does it look like you can find this inside your description and you can download this from the description below the link is there so what i will do over here is that i will just go to my sub tool and i will press uh, shift and on this i so that this will be only visible and then i can turn i for this one so i will go inside the isolation mode so only this part is visible now so i'm inside the isolation right now now let's come down to the dynamic subdivision over here so i will just move down here okay inside my geometry and you can see here there is a dynamic subdivision here now it's not on so what i will do over here is that i will either press d on my keyboard or I can press the white button here okay so as it does not have any subdivision right now so that can, uh, D key will not uh, go and increase its subdivision level like usually we do as you know there is no subdivision here because D key you know if you press D it moves you from the lower subdivision to the higher subdivision but as there is no subdivision level over here so if i will press d on my keyboard it will give me this pop-up menu and it says currently this mesh has zero subdivision level would you like to auto activate subdivision itself dynamic subdivision itself so i will say yes i want to auto activate dynamic subdivision so i'll just press yes over here and you can see that dynamic subdivision is open and you can see on the screen it has some smoothness here so basically the way you toggle dynamic on and off is the same way you would go up and down subdivision level if you have them so if i will press shift d over here so it will turn off my auto or like down like dynamic over here and if I will press D, it will turn on the dynamic subdivision again. So I can press here always yes. So next time when I will turn it on and off, so it will not show me this pop-up menu. So shift D to turn it off, D to turn it on. Basically, what this is doing is that it's giving us the appearance of having subdivided this without actually creating the extra geometry that could be sculpted with extra detail. So let's take a look at some of the options with this. Over here, we have smooth subdivision, and this is basically simulating the number of subdivisions that you would get if you created a normal subdivision. So, if we set this one uh, to zero right now, this is your subdivision level, and at the point we are at two. So, if I will go uh, to zero, you will notice it looks exactly the same way as the original. Okay, so just see, I have moved to zero and it looks like it is without any subdivision here. Now, increasing uh, to level one will in give me some amount of the subdivision over here. Level two will give me some more amount and so on forth if I will keep on increasing things. So you could go actually crank this up uh, quite high and get a very visually perfectly smooth result. So I can go all the way to six. It won't affect my computer. 
uh, you know, because what it is doing is it's just giving me a preview of the smoothness. It's not actually uh, making it sub like it's not actually subdividing it. It's just showing me how it will look like. Okay, so let's now try with some other object here. Let me go to the subdivide here and press shift and I over here one at second time so I can get the whole thing. And let's try on this the vest part. So I will press Alt, click on the vest, and you can see that the vest is there. And actually, the backpack, the vest, and the shirt is all in well, one object itself. Now, if I will go to geometry, you can see that there is no subdivision on it. So if I will press a D on my keyboard here, as I have no subdivision, it will directly go inside the dynamic subdivision as I press the yes button when that pop-up menu came up. So next time it will not show me any pop-up menu here. So if we turn on the dynamic off and on so you can see uh, at its core it's a very simple low polygon. So if I press shift D and D you can see how it has been made. But I will keep this open right now. I will keep it turned on. The subdivision right now. Now there's some interesting things we can do here. If we turn on the dynamic, one thing that we can do is also create some flat subdivision. So this can create some more visual interest. So what this it do is it's dividing it something like a flat subdivision. Let me go back here in the geometry and then instead of a higher subdivision here. I will turn this one a little bit down here and increase the flat subdivision. Now, what the flat subdivision is doing here, it's a little bit something a different. This can create some more visual interest. So what this is doing is that it's dividing it, but without smoothing it out. So it's just adding a one flat subdivision level for it, adds two smooth uh, like subdivision levels. So if I will add one, uh, sub like smoothing and one flat subdivision so you can see that so it is kind of mix and match like a one flat subdivision and one smooth uh, and two smooth subdivision let me show you exactly if there is no smooth subdivision and only flat subdivision so if i'll keep on increasing you can see that every polygon it's taking here and it is on its own it is uh, subdividing that polygon so not overall Whereas if I will smooth it with the smooth subdivision, the result is quite different because what it is doing is that it's overall smoothing it up. So if you want to mix and match, you can give a, like a value of two over here and value of one. So you will have some sharper details. Some you can have some uh, smoother like detail over here. So if we will create one more flat subdivision over here, so just notice what happened here everything is going to have sharper edge to it and at a certain point it's get too sharp if i will keep on increasing this one so i'll bring that uh, back to one because i don't want uh, any sharper detail over here so now there are a couple of more other options over here they are fairly advanced and i very rarely use them but if you want to play around with them i'd go for it try it out yourself so one thing that's a nice about this is that you can still step on this object while it's in dynamic subdivision mode. So right now, uh, actually, let's get uh, our moving tool and see what happens. So I will just press BMV. I will get my moving tool or brush, as you say. Okay, and I will just increase the size of it a bit just to see what we can do here. So to apply this effect, I will do it on this uh, shoulder guard so i will press alt and click on this one and press d on my keyboard so it will get some dynamic subdivision over here now if i will uh, move this so you can see that it's fairly moving in a nice way right now okay doesn't look that bad Okay, so basically what is happening, the effect that we are getting is actually the effect of this brush on the lowest cage. So if we turn on our polyframe, 
as you see it is already there you can see how it is affecting so few number of the polytons are affecting and if i will go back to the shirt the vest over here because vest is more let me turn this on back again the sub dynamic subdivision let me go back to the shirt because shirt actually is uh you know, more uh at the lower polygon count so we will see the effect there uh, more nicely so here we can see i have the shirt and if i will try to move this around notice that there is a slight pinch over here on this model now that is because this is not on a higher subdivision it is working on its lower cage the reason it looks smooth is just because it is showing us how it will look like if you will apply any subdivision over here so dynamic subdivision is only giving the uh, like a preview of the smoothness but it's not actually making your object smooth so in reality it's only affecting these few simple polygons so there is no way to actually create finer detail over here so with this if i will take a smaller brush of a standard brush okay and then i will try to give a fine detail over here okay so you can see i cannot actually do anything over here because in reality it is not on subdivision level number two it is on dynamic subdivision level number two which is only a preview and this dynamic subdivision is basically we can call a phantom geometry it's not real it's just like a preview as i said and finally one thing i want to show is here how you can convert this type, uh, dynamic subdivision into actual sculptable subdivision level like suppose let me turn uh undo this uh changes which i have done so far now if i'm uh you know uh kind of satisfied with this subdivision level i think okay subdivision level number two with the flat subdivision level number one this combination looks quite good for me so what i can simply do is that i can just go over here and i will apply this one so as soon i will apply you can see that there is a number of a subdivision is increased to a four so now that turns off a dynamic okay there's no dynamic right now and it turns on the actual subdivision so it has actually converted converted all those uh, flat subdivision and smooth subdivision level into an actual subdivision level that can now be sculpted on so if i get a smooth brush or let me turn off this wipe and you can see it because of the flat subdivision little bit uh you know edges are there and it's a little sharper at some point so i can just go and take my oh uh, smooth brush shift and i can smooth out the detail and with the help of my uh smaller brush or standard uh brush here i can easily sculpt now you can see as i was not able to do before because it was only a preview uh, as i was in the dynamic subdivision i was not able to do this now as i'm in the actual subdivision which is on level four i can fairly get do some detailed work here okay so now you can see you have a very simple object but give the appearance of greater smoothness by using dynamic subdivision so dynamic subdivision is a good uh, option here if you want to see how things would look like if there is a subdivision level over here without uh, compromising with your computer memory if you have a less memory here and you cannot uh, work on that uh, by directly jumping into subdivision actual subdivision level so you can first go to the dynamic subdivision and you can work on that and then you can move to the actual one so guys i hope you have understood about the subdivision over here and the dynamic subdivision here so the difference between these two and i hope you will use this in your project whenever you need this so if you have liked my video please click on the like button leave any question if you have on the comment section below and if you want you can also uh, share my video on your social media account 
because that will really help me and it will help me to get more subscriber so please support me so i can get more subscriber so i can create more and more content for you all so till next class uh take care and thanks a lot for your support everyone Thank you.